But you know, this is where, you know, I just have to, this is where uh, science is really useful and it, cause it adds this other mm. layer of understanding. You know, we often think of tears as, you know, about, you know, like Jason was saying, oh, it's about sadness or, but it actually is, is much deeper. And there's this great analysis of tears by Lutz showing that it really is about when you recognize the sacred that that is fleeting, right? Mm. And you're, you're, and at the holidays, a lot of us are going to be tearing up yeah. for reasons we don't quite understand because it's like, wow, mm. I, I had this, this childhood experiences of a family and that's changing. And now I'm at this stage of my life and, and kind of why we gather is meaning different things. So, uh, I love Jason's story because it connects us mm. to this really interesting kind of the kind of work that Alan does of like, taking a concept tears, but really finding the deeper nuances to them. And one branch of the tears are, are these sacred tears that I think holidays. I love them. Get yeah. us close to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love them because I think, again, they, they serve cathartic function. They, they resolve dissonance, you know, yeah. they, they relieve stress, but they also allow us to digest our grief, metabolize our grief. My friend Jamie Wheel says we're all choking on undigested grief. Mm. And sometimes this these spaces, these holidays, they, these rituals, they provide a kind of dramatic opportunity for catharsis through like the creation of aesthetic distance, yeah. you know, like the song creates a space holding for the processing of these emotions. A cinema, a film can do the same thing. I yeah. think of the film, let's say Love Actually, the end sequence of Love Actually at the airport when the Beach Boys, God Only Knows is playing one of the greatest songs of all time. Yeah. And all the characters in the film appear and everybody is sort of, find, you know, has been redeemed and has found love. <laughs> but then that song is God Only Knows What I Do Without You, which is exactly the same as Old Lang Syne. It's, it's realizing yeah. how much I love you and what God Only Knows What I Do Without You. But that, again, that's, that's, I think, a healthy way to metabolize the grief inherent to the human condition, the agony and the ecstasy, as they say. Yeah. And, and it's, it's a fantastic example.